Hi, I'm Sandra Steingraber. I am a biologist, a mother, and a cancer survivor from the Finger Lakes. Today is Friday, and, an, and what an amazing week it, it's been. Um, this wraps up a whole week of sustained civil disobedience action in peaceful acts of protest, blockaders who have uh, taken their message um, to the gates of uh, Crestwood, um, who is intending to turn our community into uh, a storage depot for the products of fracking, and we've been saying no to that now all week long. Um, if you're seeing this, I'm probably beginning my 48th hour in jail, uh, and um, I feel I bring an important skill set with me as an inmate, and that's because I've been a cancer patient. And having been to jail once before as a civil disobedient, um, I'm facing my sentence this time with a little more courage than, the sec than the, when I went the first time um, because I discovered that having been a cancer patient exactly prepares me for being a prisoner. So I'm on track to find out what they serve in jail for Thanksgiving. Um, and uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity to uh, carry um, the message of civil disobedience into a jail cell. Not everyone who chooses civil disobedience um, uh, takes that route, and there's value also in simply paying your fine and going back out and fighting, uh, living to fight again another day. Uh, but for me, I think taking my body into jail um, and being absent uh, as a writer and as a scientist from the public sphere where I, I uh, spend so much time, that absence is also now my message. I'm really interested actually in normalizing the experience of jail. And I think that as we enter a time of extreme fossil fuel extraction, when we, we know we live in a time of climate emergency and we need to be doing everything we can to decarbonize. And yet what we see all around us is this massive build out of extreme, dangerous, reckless fossil fuel expansion. Um, one of the tactics we have available to us is to simply fill the jail cells. And when mothers go to jail, um, it, it sends a very powerful message. Um, when we're away from our homes and our families, it, it sends a message about the destruction of families, about the destruction of the future for our children. We're supposed to protect our children from harm, and we're supposed to plan for their future. And when our children's environment are threatened by toxic chemicals, we can't protect them. And when the climate itself is falling to pieces, we can't plan for their future. So I can't be a good mother, even if I stayed home and cooked a turkey for my family for Thanksgiving. Um, I can't protect my children and I can't plan for their future. So I need to take that message now um, into jail. Um, and I know that I'm not gonna be the only one there. I see this as an act of motherhood, um, and I, I have reached the point where I can be a better parent inside of jail than I can outside of jail, and my children know now that that's where I need to be.